FNCS Major 3 kicked off with a bang, with EU and NA teams putting on an absolute display of excellence. Let's take a look at some of the best players from both EU and NA teams, starting off with EU. When Mr. Savage goes down at 18th place, all looks lost, but Vadil had other ideas. Let's take a look at how he managed to solo clutch his way to victory in game number two of week one. Using the Saw and Sprint's Augman enables him to get to the next zone with ease, saving him materials on every rotate. After picking up an Elim onto Twy, he pops the Slurp Juice at the back side of the zone. The benefits of this is that he has a much freer rotate going in and he can ride the builds of all the other players. With only four builds left in the tank, he needs a refresh and fast. And because it's for deal, he gets two in quick succession. This gives him a med mist and the materials to look up at height. Because he knows there's a hill in the final zone, he knows he has to keep on a high layer to avoid getting stuck. Using those extra materials that he got from that refresh, he makes a beautiful sneaky play up onto high ground, a full box elimination, and claims that prime position over the rest of the lobby. Because of his positional and map awareness, he's in the perfect position to simply build over Hellfire and take the game in spectacular fashion. In North America, we also saw some highly mechanical and calculated performances by the likes of Acorn and Cold. Acorn sees that high ground is not well reinforced. He also recognizes that another team is likely to make a play for height because the established high ground is not where zone is pulling. He uses this as a distraction to make this rotate and chops out high ground, pops a slurp, and just easily rotates with the distraction above. His game should have ended here, but he masterfully evades the pressure, gets out of the box, and then pops some heals. He then returns to the same box using the knocked player and getting the second elimination and a masterful needed refresh in order for him to succeed in this match. He then gets another elimination and shows some calculated restraint. A lot of players would have dove on the loot here and we could see Blake and Macwood were sitting here waiting for Acorn to do just that. Because he doesn't go for it, he lives to fight another zone. He then immediately looks to make a play for height. Again, he's going to chop out high ground and successfully be able to just walk up on height after he gets one knock plus some damage onto the second player. From this point on, it's clinical for a player like Acorn to be able to win this game from this height position. Although week one may be over, the action doesn't stop there. Make sure to tune into the rest of the FNCS this season to see more crazy plays like we broke down in this video. And of course, to see which of our teams will be booking their place to the global championships later on this year.